Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good evening. So right now we're going to continue with our Dark Tower run. So yeah, so let's hop right in. Okay, so we're currently facing an ogre with a sentry pet. We're going to get some attack boosts over here. We're dealing with this high health Diana because of the health boost here. So for now, I think we're going to do a shuffle and look for some heroes that we can clear out. And in this case, this dead lord over here with some extra zombies will help us guard the board and then also do some transform to get rid of the Diana. Okay, we have this melee hero here with some poison and some block. I'm going to attack with a higher attack hero for now. And right now we're not trying to deal damage over to the Warlord because of the heal skill. I'm going to use our Evil's Helper over here to transform. And either one of those heroes would have been fine as long as we end up getting the plus one off of the summon anyways. Alright, so now we're going to go with our Freddy over here because of the Ghost Death skill. And if the ghosts end up destroying the Freddy, at least we would have had Curse on her anyways. Okay, so we forced the silence, so that's good. Might actually go for damage over to the Warlord now. Okay, scratch that. We have the stones here that will end up giving some help to the Warlord. Okay, with the Anak over here, we have some poison damage. We're gonna go with the Vlad and then also follow up here with our uh, Harn over here so we can get some damage on the board. Also set up with some evasion and the phantom attack. Okay, the Void Juggler here did give this Anak extra attack, but we will clear this out. And then we'll also do some life steal. And then also just go for some pure damage against the Warlord now. And at this point we should be good for lethal, assuming we don't have our board cleared out. Okay, we'll go for a range here over here because of the empty board. And also the melee here is in the way. And there we go. So that was Adam. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so another ogre over here. I'm going to start with the high tinker on D3 because of the want to guard the bottom lanes and also get this Tesselex. Okay, we're gonna give some protection over to our our range hero over here. Also freeze two ranged ran ranged heroes. Okay, we had our heroes cleared out this way. I don't want this floss to be on the board too long, but we don't really have a good option for it. So I'm actually gonna go with our board wipe early and then follow up with the hero with high health just to clear out this draw here. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna summon this melee hero over here on C3 just to guard the bottom lanes. This dark has some block and also has some immunity as well, which will play around the silent skill. Okay, we'll need to take care of these Masaurus. We're going to go with this flight hero over here on A1. This one has a death trigger to freeze a random enemy, and also we can stop another copy of Masaurus from coming out. Okay, at this point, we have some damage over there. So we'll actually clear out all of these Masura copies. I'm going to go with this, uh, this Doran over here. Give itself some immunity. Okay, we drew up the stones. Seeing here this muddy frog is going to give some toxin, which is going to be an issue. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with this melee hero over here. I mean, think about this. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with this melee hero over here on A3, just to guard the lanes. We do need to be concerned about this tiling dragon dance with their moose shoes. But for the time being, we will look for some other answers. So let's see. 
No, I'm actually going to go with the Arthur Frostblade here on D3. I want to guard some of the bottom lanes and then also start freezing heroes if we can. Okay, so at this point now, I want to go with the Discordia here on D1. We're not going to trigger off that, that heal skill off the stone so that we won't take some extra damage. And also, let's see here. Yes, we'll be able to freeze even more heroes. Okay, so we have this Tango here that's going to set our attack to one for a turn when they come out. We're going to go for the Life Steal now because we're a little short. And then also, we want to trigger damage against the. We want to trigger damage against the Morgan's turn. Okay, freezing all the heroes because of the extra attack. Whoa! Okay, at this point now, we just want to deal as much damage as we can over to the Morgan's turn, so that way we don't take additional damage. Summon this range here over here on B2, so that way we don't have the extra totem come out and then stop us from summoning another range hero. Okay, so the Arthur Frostblade is now destroyed, unfortunately, so no more freeze. Uh, let's see, I'm not destroying that. Thinking over here. I'm gonna go with the Kanako over here on uh, D1. That way we can get to the Horo Horo and get some heroes to now freeze and also give us some protection in the lane. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna be taking a fair amount of damage because of this uh, tiling dragon dance that has got boosted up. Uh, let's see. Actually, don't want to summon any hero over here, but we do need to find a way to block. Otherwise, we're going to see the Morgan Cetus get some damage. So we're going to skip the turn, and hopefully, we can get a Horror Horror out to block it. it would have been nice to freeze, but yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, so we're going to lose our Horror Horror at this point. Or actually, a Horror Horror and our Hanako because of the unguarded lane. And at this point, with too much protection out here, we are going to be taking lethal. There is a chance that we could block with the Shadow Shimuna, so I guess we can take a chance and see what happens. Whoa! Okay, at this point we are overwhelmed here with the multiple legendaries here, so we're just gonna surrender and hop on to the next battle. That one was kind of rough. We used our board wipe really early against the... What we end up using against? We end up using against the Floss, and we really needed to clear out the other heroes first. Yeah! Okay, so they start with this Shaolin, gives an attack boost over to their heroes. We're going to go with our melee hero over here on the 3 because of the high health, and also the negative attack given to older heroes, which includes also this love lady. Okay, we're going to continue. We're going to summon another hero with high health. Okay, and we unfortunately did trigger the death trigger on the Shaolin. Okay, we're a little behind on the board, but this is okay. Uh, I'm going to go with, let me see here. I'm going to go with this melee hero over here just to clear out this angler bowl. Okay, hero is getting a little bit of an attack boost because of the Titania. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with this you know, Dandy Croc over here. Does some attack steal, or actually some attack steal and also some uh, health steal as well. Okay, with a couple of these heroes wounded, we potentially could go for. Um, could potentially go for a board wipe. I can actually wait it off one more turn. I'm going to give protection over to our Dandy Croc. Yeah. And it was a good thing we didn't actually go for that board wipe yet. We'll go for the board wipe now because of this grace here with the extra damage. So we'll go with the Count Vlad, go for the board wipe, and then we'll also clear out the yeah. grace here while also setting up for our side of the board. We'll also get some health back with the melee kill. 
Okay, we have this Wing Knight here with uh, some pretty high attack and health. I'm gonna go with Life Steal because we are running short. And then also going to go with... We'll go with this melee hero over here on C3. This Free Folk Leader will give miss to one random enemy. Okay, uh, we do have all these heroes wounded. We're running low on health because of this York here with the boost. I'm gonna go with the... I think this will make the most amount of sense. Yeah, we'll actually go with the Madam Agony here on B2. We'll do transform to all the wounded heroes on the board, and then also just attack on the open lane. Okay, uh, this old god here will freeze our range heroes which is not what we want to see so i actually want to go with a melee hero and i'll go with this one on the uh, a2 the a map here will have extra attack because of the extra attack rune from the charn and then also we'll be able to get reborn twice okay and at this point let's see we want to block the bottom lane because we are potentially facing lethal so we'll go with the hero with thinking what makes sense uh this melee hero over here on d2 will make sense because of the extra damage when it comes out in play Okay, uh, so we also want to make sure that we don't have our heroes wounded because they will be transformed once we give Reborn back to this Madam Agony. So we'll go with this melee hero with the Flight to clear out the Old God. And you can see we're getting some health back, which is good. Because we are running very low on health. Okay, and with this point now, all of our heroes will be transformed once again. Uh, we don't have any way to stop this right now, so I guess in the meantime, we can actually go with our... We can go over here with the All Princess Sands, give us some health back off the melee kill, and then also give miss to two of the enemies. Okay, we have potentially one more turn to set up before all of our heroes are going to be transformed. So let's go with a hero with high health to start clearing out this crystal. You can see the transform happening. And also the Madam Agony coming back into play. Yeah! Okay, we have this Hanzo here with the Mental Shield whenever one of our heroes is destroyed. I'm going to go with our, let's see, we don't have any way to clear it out right now. We can actually go with this Flight Hero over here on a, or a one rather. Just using it to block against the Hanzo. We'll also get some health back whenever we are attacked. Okay, and at this point now, I'm gonna go with this range hero over here yeah. on D1. The Shadow Manipulator will help us get a puppet, which we'll need to remove negative effects and also get as blockers if they summon an order hero. And as you can see, at the same time, we're getting some damage runes with the Beholders. Okay, and at this point, 123. Ugh, we have no way to deal damage to this right now, unless thinking about how we can actually gain lethal here. One. Okay, so we might be able to do this. I'm gonna go actually summon this Freddy over here on a three. We'll get some curse on the enemies. But not enough damage in order to actually go through and gain enough health to actually get rid of this Mina Helsing. Ugh. Okay, well, we have one more battle. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so at least we're starting first this time. I'm going to go with this Athena here on B1 and get some extra summons and have some protection. Also clearing out the building so that they can't use it as protection as well. Okay, we have this Strick over here wiping out our heroes because of that. See, we're gonna go with this hero with the mental shield just to block. 
Okay, so they summon their gifts over here that can deal some damage. I'll clear out the rest of our heroes, unfortunately. Mm. I'm gonna go with our... I'm gonna go with this melee hero over here on C3. See if we can either force the silence or just deal some damage over this chaos here. Okay, and at this point, now I'm going to go with the Count Vlad. We have our hero frozen by the Lady Snow here, but we'll go for the board wipe to get rid of the Shrik. And then we'll also follow up with... I want to play around the Silence Seal that they still have. So let's go with... We'll go with the Hoodoo over here on D1. We'll get a Totem, and that Totem will allow us to heal and get an attack boost whenever one of our heroes are destroyed. Okay, so we got this Eric the Grey over here with some attack steal. We go with the hero with high health just to make sure that Whoa! we can get around that. <laughs> Alright, the Eric the Grey also has some extra attack whenever he is also attacked. It's going to be close. I'm going to take the chance to go over with the Mai Ten over here to potentially wipe out this board. Okay, not quite enough, unfortunately. Okay, we are running low, so we'll go for the life steal here. And... I'm going to do a shuffle, see if we can find some heroes that can potentially silence, which I guess in this case would be this one here. Oh, except Nature, which uh, the Eric Grey is. So we'll do a shuffle. Uh, nothing here. See if we have anything else over here. We'll do one more shuffle, see what we can find. And at this point, we don't have anything, so unfortunately, we will be taking lethal here as well. <laughs> because of the extra attacks with the Arctic Ray. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Probably the worst run we've had this week. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to wait until we get some more attempts, so we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.